Hello friends, welcome to Global Online Friends. In this video, we are going to discuss some important MCQs on money and banking for your UGC NET in economics. So if you are preparing for UGC NET in economics, then this video is helpful to you. And if you want to join our crash course for UGC NET and other state level set in economics subject, uh, we are providing complete theory lectures. We are, and also we are providing complete MCQs lectures. You will receive entire syllabus mock tests and also solution PDF of all the tests. You will get notes on all the units. Practice MCQ set is available only at rupees seven thousand. If you want to join this crash course, you can contact this number, or else you can also download our global online app, which is available in the Play Store. Then you can select UGC NET Economics Paper Two course. Then you can access. All the material. So, if you join for this year uh, paper two course, you will also get UGC NET paper one material for free. So, here the first question is: Which among the following is the function of SEBI, the Stock Exchange Board of India? So, option A, regulation of money market. Option B, regulation of public debt. Option C, regulation of commodity market. Option D, regulation of primary and secondary security market so very easy question uh, the main function of stock exchange board of india is regulation of primary and secondary security market so option d is the right answer and if you go through this uh, cb securities and exchange board of india it is the regulatory body for securities and commodity market in india under the ownership of ministry of finance and it was established on 12 April 1988, and it is given statutory power on 30 January 1992. It comes under the Act of CB Act 1992. The next question is Pridman's modern theory, Pridman's modern quantity theory of money concludes that changes in aggregate spending are primarily deter determined by changes in option a the money supply option b interest rate option c the velocity of money option d government spending and taxes so according to pidman uh, pidman's modern the quantity theory of money uh, it is going to conclude that changes in aggregate spending are primarily determined by changes in the money supply so this you have to remember The next question is the theory that the transaction demand for money also depends on the rate of interest was put forward by yes we had who told that uh, according to transaction demand for money it all it is also depends on the rate of interest so Keynes and Pigu, Bommel and Tobin, Hicks and Solo, Samuelson and Mead. So here the right answer is option B, Bommel and Tobin. So Bommel and Tobin, uh, Tobin's uh, model it shows that demand for money depends positively on the income level and negatively on the interest rate. So this you have to remember according to Bommel and Tobin, uh, demand for money it uh, depends positively on income level and negatively on interest rate. And this uh, this model uh, Bommel Tobin model was explained in the terms of asset. The next question is high powered money is option a banks reserves at uh, at the level at the central uh, central bank option b all loans and advances of banks option c money held by banks option d currency held by public and reserves with the central bank so here high powered money means as you all know it is very easy question here high powered money means it is the currency held by public and reserves with the central bank so option d is the correct answer so if you go through it high powered money it is the liability of the monetary authority of the country and high powered money is also called monetary base it and uh, it is created by the reserve bank of india and high powered money it includes deposits with the government and reserves of the commercial banks with the rbi and also currency and notes held by the people so the sum of the high powered money is h is equal to c plus r h h means high powered money c plus c means uh, currency held with the public and r is reserves of the commercial banks with the rbi 
so this formula also you have to remember the next question is quantity theory of money should be regarded as a theory of demand for money this view has been given by so quantity theory of money should be regarded as theory of demand for money this uh, statement is uh, this view is given by option a d h robertson option b j m kenge option c a c pigu option d milton friedman so this view is given by milton friedman so please remember it quantity theory of money should be regarded as theory of demand for money this view has been given by milton friedman so according to milton friedman's modern quantity theory of money the supply of money is independent of demand for money so this statement you must remember here so according to friedman the supply of money is independent of demand for money this is because of the actions of the monetary authorities the supply of money changes whereas the demand for money remains more or more or less stable the next question is the speculative demand for money depends on option a interest rate option b income option c profit option d output so yeah, this is also very easy question the speculative demand for money depends on the interest rate so the the demand for speculative motive and interest rate both are inversely related so speculative demand for money is inversely related to the rate of interest higher the rate of interest smaller will be the speculative demand for money and lower the rate of interest higher the demand for speculative motive the next question is an increase in money supply leads to option a right towards shift of is curve option b left towards shift of is curve option c left towards shift of lm curve option d right towards shift of lm curve so whenever uh, an increase in money supply if, if money supply increases in the in the economy it is going to shift the lm curve please remember if money supply increases the lm curve is going to shift right word and when money supply decreases the lm curve is going to shift left towards so here in here money is uh, an increase in money supply leads to right towards shift of the lm curve so money supply is related to lm curve please remember it so monetary stimulus that is increase in the money supply causes the lm curve to shift right the next question is money multiplier is the ratio between option a quantity of the total money and national income option b quantity of primary money and secondary money option c quantity of primary money and quantity of total money option d quantity of money and aggregate investment so here money multiplier means it is the ratio of quantity of primary money and secondary money so money multiplier in monetary economics a money multiplier it is one of the various closely related ratios of commercial bank money to the central bank money that is primary and secondary money the next question is to which one of the following does the liquidity trap correspond option a consumption function option b production function option c money demand function option d labor demand function so liquidity trap as you all know uh, very important topic so liquidity tra trap it is going to correspond to the money demand function so i hope you know about the liquidity trap liquidity tra trap means it is the situation uh, where after after the after some after the rate of interest has fallen to a certain level so liquidity preference may become virtually absolute so in the sense people prefers holding cash rather than holding a debt because of low interest rate here people are holding cash so this is known as the liquidity trap the next question is consider the following types of assets held by a commercial bank uh, the first one is money at call and short notice or uh, second one is government securities third one is advances fourth one is cash the correct decreasing order yes here we have to write in in, uh, in decreasing order here the, let us move to the answer directly the right answer is option d 4 1 2 3 means uh, cash then comes money at call and short notice and then comes government securities and the last one will be advances so this is the correct decreasing order here cash 
money at call and short notice government securities advances the next question is supply of money remaining the same when there is an increase in demand for money there will be the supply of money is same here but there is an increase in the demand for money there will be option a a fall in the level of prices option b an increase in the rate of interest option c a decrease in the rate of interest option d an increase in the level of income and employment so supply of the money is same here but only there is an increase in the demand for money so when demand increase demand for money increases as you all know the rate of interest is also going to increase so option b is the right answer so the supply here you can go through the explanation also the supply of money remaining the same when there is an increase in the demand for money there will be an increase in the rate of interest this occurs because when the here the supply of money is same only demand for money is going to increase here so in order to attract the customers to deposit the money in the bank the rate of interest is going to increase here the next question is portfolio theory of the demand for money assumes that the individual option a disregards risk option b is risk neutral option c is risk lower option d is risk averse so here the portfolio theory of the demand for money assumes that uh, the individual is risk lower so option c is the right answer so according to portfolio theory of money individuals are always they are risk lovers means they are ready to take the risk the next question is goods and service tax council gst council of india is headed by so very easy question option a prime minister option b finance minister option c finance secretary option d speaker of lok sabha so goods and service ta tax council gst council of india it is headed by finance minister so here gst council it is the governing body of gst with 33 members yes please remember gst in gst council there will be 33 members and gst of india is headed by the union finance minister and gst council's first chairman was arun jetli please remember it and the gst council is currently chaired by our union finance minister nirmala sitaraman and the gst council is established under the article 279a yes please remember this article sometime we may expect question on this the next question is the workforce population includes people aged from uh, dash years to dash years option a 1069 option b 1559 option c 2155 option d 1865 or uh, here the right answer is option b 1559 the workforce population includes people aged from 15 to 59 so the workforce population includes in india is uh, 15 years to 59 years so the workforce population indicates the share of working age population in the total population uh, question number 15 assertion and reason question assertion is the major distinguishing feature of a commercial bank is its ability to create money is yes, the major distinguishing feature of a commercial bank is its ability to create money reason is it has a legal power to do so four options are there option a both assertion and reason are true and are, and reason is the correct explanation of assertion option b both assertion and reason are true and reason is not the correct explanation of assertion option c assertion is true but reason is false option d assertion is false but reason is true so here the right answer is option a both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion okay friends this is about today's session and if you want to join our crash course for ugc net and set in economics here we are providing complete theory lectures complete mcq lectures entire syllabus mock test with solution pdf you will get and you will get notes on all the units practice mcq set is available if you want to join you can contact us or else you can also download global online app from play store yes i wish all the best to all thank you